Hello, welcome back to part 14 of my journey towards my Bachelor's of Science Information Technology degree from Western Governors University. So today's video is all about integrated physical sciences, uh, which is class number C165. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So full disclosure, it's been a long time. I mean, a long time since I've done any kind of science uh, study or classes or tests. So over 30 years, probably. So I have to admit, I was a little nervous about this one and I've actually been deliberately putting this off. So as I've been working through my degree program, asking my mentor to add classes to my program, I basically kept skipping over this one because I was nervous about taking it. However, of course, I'm going to have to do it at some point. So this is why I kind of focused on it this particular week. And part of that was this week in my life, uh, my personal life, and it is a little slower. I know it's my calendar. I didn't have as much going on. So I really felt like this is a good week that I could really focus my studies on this particular class. So as always, there's two rules of thought here. There's the quick route and the slow route. So let me go through those real quick. First of all, the quick route. If you've been in a uh, school recently, high school science, college science, or you just have a good idea of science and you know you just enjoy it and you just remember it, I do think this is a very quick win for you potentially. And the reason I say that is because the information here is really kind of, uh, there's a lot of uh, information in this subject, but it's not particularly deep. It's quite thin. So it's a bit like the CompTIA exams, for example. It's a wild, mile wide in comp, uh, information, but not very deep in natural content. So I feel like a lot of the stuff you might have touched on recently. So as always, start with the pre-assessment. Check out the coaching report. If you score well, so for example, you're not just competent, but towards exemplary, I think you could probably go ahead and take the exam almost immediately and then um, pass. And the reason I say that is uh, the pre-assessment and the objective assessment are fairly similar in terms of difficulty and the types of questions. As always, you're not going to get the same questions, but it's it's in there, all the questions are in a similar structure and in the same kind of area ballpark. So, like I said, if you understand pre-assessment questions, you're going to be fine with the uh, the objective assessment. Now, the objective assessment is a little bit more difficult, not a much more. I'd say ten percent, but um, I didn't think it was significant like some of the other classes. So. If you're like me, though, and the second school of thought is it's been a while and you don't really know a lot about science, we don't remember anything, you're probably going to have to dig into the material. So I took the pre-assessment, as always. I did pass, but I mean barely. And honestly, there was a lot of questions, I guessed. So uh, I really felt like I needed to actually dig into the material. So like I said, there's an awful lot of material here. So let me give you some tips on areas to focus on that might help you with your study. So first of all, the actual class itself, let me break it down for you. It's four key areas. This is what you're tested on. Uh, the first part is the nature of science, which is 20% of the assessment. And this is kind of uh, introduction to physical sciences and kind of, you know, just general questions. Uh, physics is 27% of the assessment. So that's uh, things like force and motion, properties of waves, conservation of energy, things like that. Chemistry makes up 21% of the assessment. So that's behavior of matter structure of matter so you get the idea of matter basically there isn't a lot of other chemistry really but obviously know that area and then finally and the biggest part of the assessment is earth science which is 31 percent. so as you can tell that's one area you really need to focus on and that's kind of broken into the earth structure so, you know understand how the earth's made up you know the four parts of the earth you know the core the mantle you know the inner core uh, the crust etc how it all works uh the earth's atmosphere um, and then the solar system, so the planets, the, uh, the Milky Way, the galaxy that we're in, etc. Um, so they're really important. So that's kind of how it's all worked together. Now, the material that Western Governors University gives you is really in depth. Like I said, there's a lot of it there. And you could basically spend hours and hours and hours going through each of the units and the objectives of the units, the modules and um, going through it. But like I said, try and focus on those key areas that I've given you. And they're kind of identified in the pre-assessment as well. So my biggest tip for this particular class I can give you if you're going to look into the material, and this is kind of what I wish I'd done after I'd taken the objective assessment, and that is as you go through each unit in the material, just um, do the uh, the end of um, unit um, module uh, like tests. So make sure you understand the material. And also there's some videos uh, there as well. So watch the videos because it kind of summarizes it for you. And on that note, there's also a kind of a paragraph or two at the end, which is a summarization of the particular chapter as well, or the module. So 
as long as you get that, you're getting the key things at the end of the module test, you should be fine because that's really what the course is focusing on. You can do a whole bunch of the other stuff, but really the areas that needing to pass are in those end of um, uh, unit tests. So do those, score well, watch the videos, do the pre-assessment again. If you do really well, move on to the objective assessment. That's my biggest tips for you. So um, the actual objective exam itself, uh, 70 questions. Uh, two hours long, all multiple choice as always. Um, I did it in about an hour, hour and 15, I think. I felt pretty comfortable. I did pass fairly well. I actually got exemplary in three areas and competent in chemistry. So I didn't actually get exemplary overall, but I must have been pretty close. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty pleased with that. I just, you know, obviously missed out by a few points to get the exemplary. So overall, let me uh, just review Take the pre-assessment, check out the coaching report. If you do really, really well, exemplary or above, you can probably move on and get a quick win. If you're like me, you need to go back and look at the material, focus on the end of uh, unit um, exams, uh, tests and uh, videos and the summaries, and then you should be pretty good. In total, I spent maybe 25 to 30 hours on this particular class. And honestly, now knowing what I know now, I probably could have at least half that because I, I learned a bunch of stuff that you're just not even tested on. I guess that's the fear, isn't it? Because you want to learn this stuff because you think it might be in the exam and it's not. So like I said, focus on the objectives of the actual class and I think you should be fine. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, I hope you're well and I will speak to you soon. Good luck with your studies. Take care.